Okay, this video is about how to make parata. It's pretty much simple as making chapati. So, but the uh, only thing different is you roll the flour. What we do is we also try to put an inner layer of some butter. Just a second, let me bring some butter. Here. This is some melted butter that I, I previously melted. So you just put it inside the bread and you just roll it. always put the butter inside. You can just put the butter on top when you're frying the the chapati on the pan. You don't need to put it in inner layer. Almost done. Okay, this is done. Now I'm going to take this bread to the pan. It is slightly hot as I turn it on. I made one here just to show you guys. Because my flour is very coarse, that's why my my bread turns out very out of shape. It's not very brown looking, but this is much better than this one. Okay, it's cooking. As you guys can see, it's changing its color slightly and the bubbles coming on top and I'm going to turn it now. Traditionally, people cook the both sides um, quite a bit and then they add the butter. But I don't want to do this since it makes the pan very hot and the bread very hot and all the smokes come out of it. So we're going to try to prevent as less smoke as we can. We don't want it to be a lot of... And we want it to be delicious. So, you can use ghee, you can use olive oil, you can use butter. I've, I've used the melted butter here, just to show it to you. And I'm just going to try to cook all the sides. Okay, another important thing that I forgot to mention that when you made your dough, cover it with some damp cloth because you don't want your dough to get uh, hardened or dry. And another uh, second point, which is very important, you can use, basically I'm using a flat pan here to make my bread, but you guys can use a fry pan or anything that you have, but it has to be flat, so it makes it easy to make the bread. And you can see it's, uh, it's cooking slowly, so it's cooking from inside out, and, uh, uh, and there's no smoke coming so far, so it's going to be taking some time. And pretty much that's about it. I'm just going to cook it. That's it. So I just want to show you that's it. I finished my second batch. This is my third one from the same dough. And uh, this is the parata that I just made it earlier. It's soft, you can see. People can eat it with a lot of different things. With curries or with some honey or cream cheese, jam, anything you like. I hope you guys would enjoy it and I hope it was easy. Um, which is much very difficult for me to make this with kids here, but I tried my best. Okay, guys, take care.